those error messages are incredibly annoying. And if you're new to Sublime, you might not fully understand what it is that they're trying to tell you. So let's talk about fixing those pesky problems. <music> Hello fellow Sublime Text Fanatics, Odat Nerd here, and welcome to this video on figuring out what those, uh, somewhere up there, pesky uh, error dialogues are all about and how we can go about solving the problem that they are trying to tell us about. Before we do that though, remember that if you find these videos helpful or useful, please thumb them as appropriate, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and if you have any questions on the comment of this video, any video, or suggestions for future videos, drop that in the comment section below or hit me on Twitter at odatnerd. Now to the problem at hand, that problem dialogue that's somewhere up there above my head. Now, what is this dialogue actually trying to tell us? It's telling us in a programmery kind of way that it had a problem loading a package resource file. And in particular, this one is about my preferences file having a problem. Let's sort of break it down line by line here. The first part is saying error trying to parse settings. So that's telling us that this is a settings file and it was, while Sublime was trying to load it, something went wrong. The next part tells us unexpected character, expected a comma or a closing bracket. Now, if you're not a programmer, this may or may not be useful. This error message is fairly self-explanatory. You can see error messages like this for other types of files, which may or may not be easier to grok. The important thing to note is when you see one of these dialogues, it's Sublime's way of telling you that it tried to load a package resource. While it was loading it, it found a problem in the file. The file's not formatted correctly. As a result, there's nothing it can do to use that file, so it's not going to use that file, but it's telling you about it so you can fix the problem. Now, the last line in the dialogue, which in this case is packages user preferences dot sublime settings colon seven colon two that's giving us information on the file that's currently broken and the line and column within that file where whereabouts the problem is now due to the vagaries of the way file parsing works the actual error may not actually be at that point it could be somewhere a little further on that's just the point at which it realized something has gone horribly wrong so how do we actually resolve these problems? Well, there's a few steps that you can take in order to figure out you know, what the problem is and how to resolve it. The first thing you want to do is write down, or otherwise remember, but I'm terrible at that sort of thing, the file that it's telling you here, including the location information. So this is packages, user, preferences, dot sublime settings, line 17, column 2. That's where it thinks there's a problem. Then we can close that dialog box. Now, in order to open the package file that we need to repair, we can use a command that we have used in the past called view package file from the command palette. Now, remember, this shows you a list of every package file in every package that's currently not ignored. And using this, you can find the file. Now, you're not going to, the file that we saw in the list was packages slash user slash preferences dot sublime settings as you'll see here the text packages doesn't appear at all so we just need user preferences and this is the file packages slash user preferences dot sublime settings and the particular problem i was having was on line it said colon 17 colon 2, which is line 17 column 2. Because I'm using the package dev package here, um, the syntax highlighting enhancements that are provided by that package is telling me exactly where the problem is. If you're not using that package, you could use this uh, go to command to say colon 17 like so. And this is the line that's having the problem. Now, it said it was having a problem at column 2 which is somewhere around here. But the problem in this particular case is that every item in the preferences file needs to have a comma after it. So that's the reason why this particular file is broken. And saving the file has made the problem go away. And as we'll see, if I was to remove that and save the file, that error message reappears. So, that's that. Now, how you actually resolve this problem, that's going to depend on the actual file that 
is having the problem. The most common issues with this particular error happen when you do something to break your preferences file by forgetting to put a comma in it or forgetting to put a comma in a key map file or sometimes if you are new to Sublime and you have a say a key binding or a preference, you might take the information that was provided uh, in a forum post and paste it into this file and you know perhaps end up with an extra set of items on the bottom like this with a setting in it, like indent guide options. Maybe you might even type it correctly. Now if you know, you did something like this, as we can see using this syntax, this is a very broken file. And it's telling us that there's a problem on line 36, column one, because there's unexpected trailing characters. And that is just programmer's way of saying, after this character, it didn't expect to see anything of consequence, but all this stuff is here. So removing it resolves the problem. As we can see, actually finding the file and zeroing in more or less on the error location is fairly easy. Now, of course, depending on the actual problem in the file, you might need to dig around a little bit more. You might need to look at the official or unofficial documentation to see what the format of the file is expected to be. Even better, use the package dev package, and as we saw in this video, it will tell you with pretty startling uh, accuracy exactly where the problem lie would make it a lot easier to fix that particular problem. And uh, that's all we have for this video. This is Odat Nerd thanking you for watching the video, reminding you to like and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing, and to leave questions and comments in the comment section below or on Twitter at Odat Nerd. But most importantly, asking you to have a sublime day.